In this question on trigonometric identities for pure 2 or indeed pure 3, working now for cosec x, and which is equal to 1 over sine x. We have to make that um, equality relate to the mathematical expression on the right-hand side. It looks a bit daunting, in fairness. So we have to find a way of getting these, these things in the question. So we've sec and tan, for instance. Now I know on the right-hand side you can see our double angle formula. So you're going to do that in reverse. So sine x is the same as 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. So just take note of those 2s those, uh, there in particular. And you would see that if you did it in the inverse, if you did it backwards, it would equal what we have. So that's the first part there. Also, look at sec x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So we need to do something to manipulate this. We have a 1 on top as our numerator. We can't have that. We need to get sec in there. So using 1 over cosine x, we're going to square it to get that. And also, we need the x over 2 in our brackets. So let's do all that in one go. So 1 all over cosine squared, x over 2. That's our numerator. And we'll do the same with our denominator. So 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2 divided by what we've already established, uh, divided by cosine squared, x over 2. So I needed to figure that out. I needed a square. I needed something on top that was, if not sec, then 1 over cosine. And now I've got that, I can cancel out something on the denominator right now. So the cosine x over 2, I'm one of them. So it's simplified a little bit more and so we end up with the top, our numerator is the same, and we have 2 times sine x over 2 all over cosine x over 2. And going back a year, if you want, going back to one of your original identities that you had in grade 11 or in pure 1, sine of x over cosine of x is indeed tan of x. So we're nearly there now. I'm pretty sure you can see it. Okay, so remember what we, why we're doing this. We're relating the mathematical expression that we began with, and we're trying to get to that other one on the right-hand side. And we're proving it then. So, of course, 1 over cosine is sec, so we've written that in, and then I'm just also putting in that extra part that we just discussed. So tan, is, tan of x is sine x over cosine x. From there, you can see that the 2 on the denominator, of course, that becomes 1 half x squared x over 2 and tan of, x, tan of x over 2. And I just have a quick look back over everything. Have a look at your identities and just one of the uh, compound, or sorry, double angle formulas on the right hand side. And of course, we're just practicing this as opposed to doing it in an exam. Just check through it, make sense of it, and see, of course, that you can do this again. So making sense of it and understanding the how and the why is very important so you can do this again with different numbers or with a few different variations on the proof, for instance. Okay.